oh my gosh, wow, I must have a uh, fascinating internet. Okay, uh, hello everybody, Jeff here with uh, just a greeting and some cool information hopefully for you, some things that may help you uh, through some of these times. First, I wanna talk about physical health. Um, at two o'clock today, a uh, friend of mine, uh, a woman who actually changed my life, Marianne Klingenberg is hosting a special online meeting to provide simple, actionable things that you and your family can do right now to boost your immune system and help ward off viruses of all kinds. She's sharing some free information from the years she's been working in the holistic nutritional space. During this online meeting, she'll discuss at a minimum stress strategies, how to eat, and immune boosting ideas. How did she change my life? Before I met her, a couple years ago, I was probably taking antacids something like 15 days a month, and I don't think I take them twice a year now. So big, big difference she's made for me. She's not selling stuff. She's there to help. Um, she does sell stuff, and that's not what this is at all. Um, but uh, that is the link is going to be down here below for that. I want to talk about mental health for a minute. Simply put. Your attitude is everything right now. If you are sad, you're still in this position. And if you're happy, you're still in this position. You get to choose moment to moment what your mood is going to be, what your attitude is going to be. And I strongly, strongly recommend that you choose the positive. Watch something funny on TV or, or a funny movie. Make yourself laugh. Make the kids laugh. Your partner. Um, Get on the phone with somebody who makes you laugh and and or get on the phone and make your friends laugh. Uh, that will make a big difference for you moving forward on this. I want to talk about finance for a minute and how you can ease some of the stress. I've already heard that like unemployment uh, lines and the websites, they aren't working that good. And I get it. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to call any large company that you owe money to and ask them to skip a payment. I did this. I called Toyota Finance and I said, I'd like to skip a payment. And they said, well, Mr. Howard, would you like to skip one payment or two? Okay. So this includes mortgage companies. This includes uh, whether you've uh, got a loan on your car or a lease on your car. It includes credit card companies. Now, they may not all say yes. However, if two or three or one of them says yes, then that will relieve some stress. Many of them are going to say yes. Second, this may sound like a self-serving pitch and it's not really intended to be for those of you who know me. Um, if in times like this historically, homeowners have had an easier time navigating through extreme circumstances like this. And this is not the last one we'll ever face. Here are four things that you should know if you wanna consider buying a home right now. First off, interest rates are the lowest they've been in 50 years. Second, I can get a video walkthrough of almost any home in the Las Vegas Valley. So you can view these homes for the comfort and safety of your own home, and I'll get you the properties. Here's the other cool thing. Because of so many people being home and so many people not taking advantage of an opportunity like this, um, you are less likely to compete with multiple offers because there may be fewer people trying to buy a home in the next 30 days. And if you don't have a down payment and you don't have closing costs, in some cases, you might be able to get those for free. There's a few programs that I know of that we can get stuff like that so you don't need a ton of savings. Now, I know you're saying, well, how can I do that if I get laid off or whatever? First off, some of the people I'm talking to can't get laid off. Fire, police, teachers, military, et cetera, et cetera. If you're in an essential business, you haven't been laid off. You're not going to be laid off. Second off, if you were laid off, and you work for a big enough company that your HR department will send you a letter that says that they do intend to bring you back to work. And with an estimated date, it doesn't have to be a real date. It doesn't have to be the date. An estimated date, we can still call you, qualify you for a mortgage. Um, education. I want to talk about education for a minute. A lot of you are at home for the next 30 days with nothing to do. So if you're working from home, like my myself, that's great. If you're at home doing nothing or the kids are at home doing nothing, ask yourself, what do I want to learn? You know, take this chance to learn something new. 
uh, want to learn to do the bossa nova? I don't even know what the bossa nova is. I think it's some kind of dance, to be honest with you, but I'm not sure. But do you want to learn how to code, like write HTML or Java or C++? Do you want to learn how to play cribbage? I don't know what you want to learn, but just go to Google and type in learn to play cribbage. And if you want to add the word free, and you're going to find lots of free classes. Universities have free classes. You know, what interests you? What is interesting for you? Um, take the time and, and, and take advantage of this. Don't just sit in front of the TV. And when you are sitting in front of the TV, do yourself a favor and watch something funny. Watch something uplifting. Don't watch something negative or heavy or heavy dramas or, or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you'll, you'll have a much better state of mind if you're, watching that kind of stuff. Um, the last thing I want to let you know is I know a lot of people in this town. So if you need something, um, please reach out to me. Uh, it may be something I'm able to help with. It may be something I know somebody who's able to help with. I don't know. Maybe your garbage disposal stopped working during all of this, or uh, maybe you need some food delivered, or maybe you're not feeling very good, or maybe you have a friend who isn't, or whatever it is. If you need something, please reach out to me. I'm here to help. We're all going to get through this. And when we get on the other side of this, we're going to look back and go, holy crap, that was crazy. So um, I wish you safety. I wish you comfort. Um, and uh, we're all here to go through this together. So if you need anything, please reach out. Um, have a great, great day.